Well, Jesus said, thy word is truth. And he said, the words that I speak to you are spirit and life. Life. Praise God. And his word is the truth. I believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God. It was written by men under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. That's what we believe. We believe the word of God. And a lot of translations have uh, come into being by people all through the years. And um, King James 1611 is not the first translation. But it is a translation and it's, I like that Bible. It's, it's a good Bible and I think it's a good translation. There's some words that, that may not be translated just like they ought to be translated. But you know what? I believe that it's a, it's a it's a pretty accurate translation, the King James Bible, and I like it. And you've got to know, uh, Jesus didn't speak in Aramaic. Um, specifically, he didn't speak in any other language. Specifically, uh, Jesus was born as a Jew, and he spoke their language. Praise God and and. Um, the King James Bible is a, is a wonderful Bible. If you don't have one, I would advise you to get one. But anyway, I'm reading from the King James today. And in the book of Romans, beginning with chapter 12, I want to read some scripture to you. And you can follow along in your Bibles. Uh, beginning verse 1, it says, I beseech you, brethren, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Romans chapter 12 and verse, beginning at verse 1. Which is your reasonable service. God wants us. We need to present our bodies to God. A living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto him, unto God. And it says it's our reasonable service. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. Now how many knows? How many is perfect yet? Be ye transformed. I don't think I've seen a perfect person. I think we all need some transformation. When we were born again, uh, our spirit was made alive. Jesus Christ quickened our spirit, made us alive. We woke up the next morning. If you had gray hair, you still have gray hair the next morning. Your body hasn't changed. You know, it's, uh, I heard a preacher say, well, I looked at my hands, and my hands looked new, and my looked at my feet, and my feet did too. No, your hands and your feet didn't change. Your hair color didn't change. If you went to bed that night after you got born again, if you went to bed skinny, then you woke up skinny. If you went to bed fat, short, tall, then you woke up the same way. Your body didn't change. And your mind didn't change. You woke up the next morning, you had the same ideas. You know, the same, you know, you like the same food, you like the same places. Your mind did not change. What changed was your spirit. The inner part of you that was lying dormant, was dead from what Adam did, was made alive when you believed in Jesus, accept, accepted him as your Savior. Ask him to be your Lord. Then your spirit was made alive. And with our spirit, we can connect, we can understand the spirit of God. With our spirit when it's alive. Okay, and we all need to be transformed. We need to have our mind transformed. We need to be transformed. We need to become new people. The Bible says that all things, old things are passed away. All things become new. So we need to have our mind changed. We need to do a trans. Our, it needs to be transformed. And how is it transformed? 
by the word of God. He says, For I say through the grace of God given unto me to every man that is among you not to think himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Let's go to, let's go to uh, Romans chapter 8. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Let's read some verses out of chapter 8 of Romans. Romans. 